Machar flew in with his wife but did not come back with his troops. At the airport, he met his longtime rival, President Salva Kiir, and a lineup of regional leaders who have spent years pressing the two men to end their civil war. The world's youngest nation plunged into conflict in 2013 after Kiir sacked Machar as vice president. Machar fled to neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo in 2016 after fighting broke out in capital wrecking an earlier peace deal and killing hundreds of people. He later traveled to South Africa where he was held under house arrest until earlier this year. Under pressure from governments in East Africa and from United Nations and Western donors, Machar's group, other rebel fractions and the government last month signed a peace deal under which he will again become vice president. South Sudan seceded from Sudan in 2011 after decades of North-South war fueled by oil, ethnicity and religion.